David Toller here with Supplemental Seminary. I want to make this quick video just to let you know that several people have contacted me this week concerning starting a podcast or a live stream set up or wanting to make videos for their church, what have you. And they've asked me my suggestion for a microphone. And right off the top of my head, if you're starting out in a home office situation or wanting to improve your Zoom meetings or calls and you don't have a room or location in which you have, as I have here, audio treatment, then I'm going to suggest right off the bat to get a dynamic microphone. Now, what I'm speaking into right now is a dynamic microphone, and you probably hear that real radio-y, boomy voice that sounds like it's a radio announcer. That didn't happen by accident. It's because I'm running processing on this as I speak. Now, that's really going to cost you if I turn the processing off. At this point, you're just hearing the microphone. And even though it does sound great, it doesn't sound as good as if I was to turn on the processing in order for you to hear that. But one of the things about a dynamic microphone such as this and this is what we would call an end address dynamic microphone because I speak into the end of it. And of course I have it setting off axis to avoid plosives. When a pop of air comes out of my mouth, if I had it right in front of me like this, and I was to say persnickety's and pickles and you hear those pops and that's plosive. So the best thing to do is position the microphone off axis as I have here and to speak across the microphone. And just one of the things that I suggest is when people ask me about their live stream or podcast or video, you kind of have to determine whether you feel comfortable with a microphone being in the shot or you don't want it in the shot. You don't want it to be visible. And if it is visible, of course, being a dynamic microphone, they're made to be close to, so they don't pick up a lot of background noise. If you don't have a treated room, okay, those are where they're going to become very helpful to you. If you go with a condenser microphone, going to pick up a lot of background noise, echoes, and children, dogs, wash, uh, dishwashers, washing machines, heating and air units, and most people don't want to go to all that that trouble. So what I would suggest is get a dynamic microphone, not some, so much this one, uh, which is the road Procaster, but I would suggest getting uh, a microphone. I'll put in the description below to start out with, because you don't know if you're going to stick with this or not. And by the hundred dollar investment, you can sound very good, a dynamic, uh, microphone with the audio technica, uh, ATR 2100X it will give you a good, quality sound out of the box. And one of the benefits to that is it is both USB and XLR at the same time. So to go with you throughout. So that's going to be a dynamic microphone. But if the next step up would be what we have here would be a broadcast dynamic microphone. And if you get into that, you're going to spend a whole lot more money and you're going to have to probably buy a cloud lifter or a booster to boost the microphone because it's so passive and it really takes a lot of juice and gain. They're very gain hungry to drive that amp up and to drive the decibels up and get that volume up there. And so I've got mine hooked into an audio interface with the processing on and it's really boost. I've boosted that gain to a point to where you can hear me. So I hope that's a help to you. Of course, if you have any questions regarding or want me to suggest a microphone for your situation, I'd be glad to help you. But just remember, there's a lot of options out there, and I suggest that people not get too caught up at first, but that they understand their situation that will best work for them. There's other budget options out there, but when you really get into enhancing it if with a microphone, most of the, the ones come around about the $100 price range, okay? And that's if you're using USB. 
So you got to ask yourself a couple questions. Number one, do I want a dynamic microphone? Do I want a condenser microphone? I'm going to have a treated room, pick up more noise around the room and so forth like this. Okay. Or do I want to be sitting down while I be standing up? Do I want the microphone in the shot? Do I want a microphone out of the shot? <laughs> so these are a lot of questions you have to ask yourself when building a home studio. But I'm here for you. Let me know if I can help in any way. Just connect with me in the comments below. And in the meantime, this is David Toller with Supplemental Seminary.